Maing buntag sa tanan. Akong gihangyo ang tanan nga naa sa kusina, katong naa sa ubos nga magtapok ta diri sa ato ang worship hall. Uh, once again, uh, maing buntag sa tanan. Welcome there is Atom Simbahan Christ Centered Family Fellowship. Akong gihangyo ang tanan sa pagpanindog o katong abihan ng ato ang mga Bible sa Psalms 127. Okay, nakita na ba? Psalms 127 verses 1 to 5. In praise of God's goodness. If the Lord does not build the house, the works of the builders is useless. If the Lord does not protect the city, it does no good for the sentries to stand guard. It is useless to work so hard for a living, getting up early and going to bed late. For the Lord provides for those he loves while they are asleep. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a real blessing. The sons a man has when he is young are like arrows in a shoulder's, uh, soldier's hand. Happy is the man who has many such arrows. He will never be defeated when he meets his enemies in the place of judgment. May the Lord bless his word. Okay, no? Ito ang nahibalaan nga. Ang ginood yun ang ito ang builder bisang pag... Uh, unsa kadaghan sa ato ang mga resources kung dili gyud niya gitugot na wala tay panimalay dili gyud na may tabo apan salamat sa iyahang kaayo uh, do na tay mga panimalay do na tay mga pamilya uh, siya pud ang nagaprotek protect kanato samtang kita na nga tulog uh, natulog ta nga malinawon wala tay gikahadlokan kay kabalutan nga na ang protection sa ato ang Ginoo ug siya pud ang ato ang provider siya ang naga provide Uh, samtang kita na nga tulog, He works for us. Uh, giandam na niya ang ato ang mga panginahanglon samtang kita na nga tulog. Huwag na iyang giingan sad. Uh, siya po ang naghatag sa ato ang real blessing. Ang ato ang mga pamilya, either it is biological or spiritual. So, it is indeed uh, worth celebrating God's goodness. Okay. Sige, mag-ampot ha. Father in heaven, salamat yun kaayo ni ining kabuntagon, Lord. Imo kami ang kitapok din hi, Lord. Imo yun kami gihatagag desire, Lord. Nga magdayag o magsimba diha kanimo, Lord. Lord, salamat yun kaayo, Lord, ni ining nga desire, O God. Lord, bisang paman kani sa amo ang mga kaigsunan nga wala pa din hi, Lord. Among giampo, Lord. Nga imo silang dalahon diri, Lord, nga safe, O God. Lord, bisang paman ka namo nga naa diri, Lord. I pray, Lord, nga imo hang i-open amo ang mga hearts, O God. Na doon na kami receptive hearts, O God. Nga kung usaman gani ang imo hang isulti ka ron, Lord. Amo kining dawaton, Lord. Nga imo git kining nga pulong, Lord. Lord, salamat yun ka ayo, Lord. Uh, bisang paman gani sa manifestation sa Holy Spirit, Lord. Kabalumi, Lord, nga yun na imo hang presensya, O God. Lord, salamat yun, Lord. Dawata ang among mga pag- Ampo, among mga pagsimba, among pagdaig diha kanimo mo, Lord. Himoa kami nga angayan, Lord. Pasailoa kami, Lord, sa mga kalapasan, Lord, na among nahimo diha kanimo mo, Lord. Nga, ang mga butang na wala gini mo kahimuti, Lord. Pasailoa mi, Lord. Lord, salamat yun ka ayo, Lord. Among ibalik ang, amo, ang imong dugo ng mga himaya sa ngalan Jesus. Amen at Amen. wala kayo ato aning tanan but right na mga isoon pwede na magsaba-saba sa saba-saba sa let's invite the holy presence of God Lord we praise you we glorify your name we invite your holy presence ginoo Lord ikaw dyan ang mahimaya karunggong taga oh God we will dance we will sing for joy oh Lord because you deserve it Lord gusto na mo makita ni mo nga madasigon mi nga nagdai kanimo Ginoo. Amen. Madasigon ba ang tanan? Andam ba ang tanan? Malipayon ba ang tanan? Okay, excited ang tanan so katahan nato ang Ginoo mga igsoon. No, pinaka the best natong pakpak, pinaka the best natong sayaw diha sa iya ha kabaluman tang tanan mo sayaw na. No? 
Okay, amen. All right, Lord, we give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory. Yes, God, you are beautiful, Lord. Well, I baka describe you sa ibuhan na words, oh God, na exact words. Unsa ka kalindot, unsa ka kamaayo. How beautiful.
Aleluya, Lord. Aleluya, Panginoon. Lord, again, again, salamat for this very wonderful day, very wonderful week. And thank you so much, oh Lord God, sa mga panahon, Lord, sa mga imposibling panhitabo, sa mga imposibling butang, nga nahimong posible, tungod ni mo, God. Everything is possible, Lord, because you have all the way. Jesus, wala pong mahirap sa inyo, Panginoon. Walang mahirap sa inyo. Lahat ay madali para sa inyo, O God. Thank you so much, Lord. I want to sing this song, O Lord Jesus. Gusto na maipadaya, Lord. Among kasing-kasing diha ka ni mo, Jesus.
Makapangyari 
Pwede ninyo na mahatagan o pinaka-guwapa o pinaka-fresh na smile ninyo karong puntaga. Ang mga gingisihan, i-make sure ko na notebrush ba na ha? <laughs> okay, basi ba kayo nagsalig, nagmas na, di naman notebrush. Ayay. <laughs> okay. Who is blessed with victories this week? Kinsa na ay testimonies this week? Amen. All glory to God. Okay, before we proceed to the word, let us go for our announcements. Okay, so every Wednesday, 6 p.m. to 7.30, nagagather diri sa church for our prayer meeting. So we suggest if naba mo somewhere in the downtown or you can have the effort na from your house, mo ari mo diri sa church, it would be very great na maka-attend mo sa mo ang prayer meeting. As in mga igsoon, it is very refreshing. Ano no ka ng amazing man, we gather for a Sunday. But when we gather for a prayer meeting, lahi na dyan ang presensya sa ginoo sa prayer meeting. Because you just soak and you just meditate on the presence of the Lord. And you just have that kind of devotional time. Diba? Usually, kita sa balay. Kanang, there are times na kita na dilita maka-focus sa balay because a lot of distractions and then mabisi na all throughout the day. So, let us just dedicate a day in a week to pray and soak in the presence of our Lord. Okay, next. Holy Fire Youth Fellowship. Every second and fourth Friday of the month, 6 p.m. to 7.30. So, sa pagkakaroon, naga online But we'll be proceeding, hopefully, sa face-to-face -face na Holy Fire Youth. Okay, next. Sunday service, of course, starts at 9 a.m. Okay, come and worship with us. Any more announcements? Okay, wala na. Okay, before we proceed to the Word of God, let us pray first. Pwede na to ka ng anaon na to ang kamot na murag natay dawaton. Because the word of the Lord is like a food. It is a gift that we receive from the Lord. So, amdamo na to ato ang kamot na mudawat. Okay? Hallelujah, O God. We thank you for this day you've given to us. We thank you for your presence. We thank you for the blessings, the victories all throughout the week. We thank you sa imong provision, Lord. Na wala mi nagkulang, nakakaon mi kada adlaw. Salamat sa kinabuhi, sa good health, na naami dari kang adlawa. Nag-celebrate sa imong presensya, og naminaw sa imong pulong. Holy Spirit, we welcome your presence. Because we acknowledge that without you, why pulos ang ang ma-share karong, karong kabuntaga, Lord God. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you will just speak to every heart. You will speak to every thought. Kung sa man ang revelation ay mong i-reveal sa mua, madawat na mo na karong adlawa, O God. Walay makamiss sa imong presensya. Walay makamiss sa blessings sa imong bubo karong adlawa, O God. Every glory is yours alone, O God. Every glory is yours alone. Tanggala ang pride sa mga kasing-kasing. Tanggala, Lord God, ang pagkasarado. Tanggala ang spirit of offense sa mua, Lord God, we will be humble to receive your word and we will be open. Kung kinsa man ang namina, karong adlawa, samot na, maski nag-online, they will receive what you have for us today, O God. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen and Amen. Okay, I know no kanang all throughout in the pandemic, kitang tanan ni Agi Jude sa lowest of the low. Amen ba? Kinsa man ni Agi, di ba? Kinsa man ni Agi during the pandemic na lowest of the low ka nang, hello, no, wala ang juk trabaho, wala joy source of finances, ka nang, ano, ka nang gipit kay sa kwarta, kay tungod, wala na trabaho, wala na kwarta, hala, ang pangangailangan sa balay, kulang na jud kaayo. Naiuban students din rin, iuntang og skwela, kay nag-choose na lang na mag-work. Di ba, it's, ano, marag, uh, it is a stage of our life sa pandemic na ka nang, imis ana unta, we have all these wonderful plans in the future and then kalit lang na down. Ako mismo ni Agi ko ana, samot na ako na ka nang, hala, may ngani ko, may ngani ko, may ngani ko, nakalapag na na ako ang mga dreams and goals and then here comes the pandemic, kalit lang na down. And it's really hard to go back up. Kinsa yung maka-agree ana. Isod kayo, no? Na, kanang kalitang naundang, o niya mag-start na sad ka again. 
It's very hard. So, Karun, this is my topic for today. How to start your success journey. Okay, I just want us to be encouraged today. I just want every one of us to be motivated today. Because I know, it is by God's will na naaka karon o naminaw ani na pulong. It is not an accident. Dili tungod giimbita ka, dili tungod na filang ni Simba. But I believe God has designated you. It is your fate or your destiny to hear this word today. So how do you start your success journey? Okay, success is not a state of life. Can say makaagree ana. Di ba when we hear the word success, gina compare nato sa mga negosyante, gina compare nato sa mga artista, na mga sikat, na mga dato. But then, atong pananaw is, that is success. Naabot na nila ang the top of their career, the top of their, ano, the top of their game. Sikat na kayo sila, dato na kayo sila. But success is not a state of life, it is a journey. Ang sa'y pasabot, Ana, dili siya destination. Kutub ta, mamatay ta, we will continue to go on our journey to success. So it means, kung unsa man ato ang state karon, makaingon paga, ha? Huh? Napabakoy ka ugmaon, Ani? I can say you still have hope for a wonderful future because success is something you chase. Success is something you work for. Success is something you walk. Dili siya something na makuha lang. And a journey of a thousand miles, kinsay, kafamilyar Ani na, ano, na quote, na dunggan ako ni siya sa Lion King, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a first step. But the first step is usually the hardest. Diba nakita niyo dira sa picture? Diba once, makaget through lang dyan siya sa step one, padayon, 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 padayon na siya. But then it's really hard. Amen? It's really hard to start something. It's really, samot na, let's say sa students, it, uh, mag-say ito na, ay, karun ligi, ma-achiever ligi ko ba? Madins lister lagi ko ba? Ay, makapasar lagi ko ba? Ay, matap lagi ko ba? But then when you start doing it, marag, kapuya di ano eh. Sige, lag-study, sige, lag-study. Nga ni, nga na. Gusto ko mag-start o business. Hala, kailangan maday mag-ipon o kapital ano eh. Dapat maday ko mag-gahot ano eh. Dapat ko mangitag investors. Dapat ko magpalit ang mga staff, pang ano, pang baligya. Eh, nga na, nga na. Di man day siya lalim o eh. Sige, mangita na kong trabaho. Hala, maagi po manay kong job interview, uy. Mangita po manay kong trabaho. Hasula, di ani, uy. The first step is usually difficult. But once you get through it, once you get through the first step, padayon, padayon na na. Amen? So what are the steps? How do you start your success journey? Number one, wear the white belt. Ate Lois, ano sa'yo white belt? Latuson taani ko tumuliho? Ano sa maning white belt? Okay, according, kinsa sa'yo familiar din yung mga judo, martial arts, yung nga ni, ako ganahan d'yo kong mga yung ana, ganahan d'yo kong mga judo, martial arts. So, dili ko ka memorize na tanano ba that interested ko. Usually, beginners, kana nagasugod o karate, is naka white belt. And then, there's all sorts of belt, diba? There's the purple, the green, ang bot, ano sa'yo order. Ang pinakataas is ang black. I think, or red, di ko sure. Basta black ang pinakataas, ang white ang pinaka-beginners. Okay, nga no white belt. Next. This is Jigoro Kano. Amor ko makita ninyo. Amor ko sakto bang paka-ingon sa iyang name? Jigoro Kano. Si Jigoro Kano is one of the famous people in Japan na nagpasikat sa judo martial arts. Sa una, walay judo sa Olympics. But then, nahimo siyang Olympic game or napart siya sa Olympics tungod kay Jigoro Kano. Nahimo siyang lead sa iyahang pagka athlete bang term, na, sa martial arts. Nahimo siyang lead. When you say Jigoro Kano, that is judo. Pero nga, nagilamang siya sa judo. Siya ang nagpasikat sa judo. And then, kanin si Jigoro Kano, gahot kayo siya. Kaya dili lang siya nag-stick to his movements. Dili lang siya nag-stick sa 
ang pattern na karate, sumbag-sumbag. Nag-explore siya laing arts. Ni ato siya ani, ang um, sabi mga laing tai chi ba na whatever. Uh, ano ala, na practice siya ah sige, nagkuha siya uban steps nila. Nag-ato na siya diri sa sa pamilain. Aikido, ana, let's say sa Aikido. Hala, nag-practice siya. Oh, sige, sige, nagkuha siya ubang steps dara. Nagkuha siya, nagkuha siya, nagkuha siya and then giform niya into another kind of martial art. Ya mo na nahimong judo karon. And then even though he was at the top of his game, pagkamatay niya, nag-request siya sa iyang followers na kanang kung mamatay na ganik ko, ayoko suoti og black belt. Ang buton silang ceremony. Basta iyang gingon, let me wear the white belt. Because maski pa, I am at the top of my career, daghan akong nakatunan, I'm still a beginner. I'm still learning. So when I say, wear the white belt, be humble. Be humble and be teachable. No matter what stage you are in your career, 10 years na baka nag-work on any mong career, 20 years na ba, 30 years, reverend na baka any mong career, you still have a lot to learn. Sa mong business, you have a lot of experiences, you have downs and ups. Daghagag mga nailhan ng mga tao, but you still have a lot to learn. You are a student. You can say you're the top of the class, ikaw ang pinaka-bright, but you still have a lot to learn. Ako, ako ang work today is occupational therapist. Ako ang kinahandle every day is kids, little kids. And then, ako na ka namurag novice pagani, beginner pa lang na therapist. Ako ang pananaw sa mga bata is, ay, they don't know what they're doing. Kailangan pa na ako sila i-lead. Kailangan pa na ako sila i-guide. But then, gingnan ko sa so, usaka co-worker na ako na, dapat dili lang ka ingon mag-guide guide o kid. Learn from your kid. Yeah, dito na ko na-realize, no matter what the age, maski bata pa na sila, you can still learn a lot from kids. Never be too proud to learn from other people. Tara? Be humble enough to know you don't know everything, but be curious enough to seek new knowledge wherever you go, in books, in teaching, and in everyone you speak with. Be humble enough to learn. Be curious about everything. Ayaw na ka nang gitudloan ka. Uli, ki, kabalo, naligi ko, ana. Giskwilahan ako na. Paminaw ba? Kay nakasinate na ko, ana. Usually, nga na ito, no? Kanang, ano, kanang, samot na kanang feel na nato na, oh, mas lamang ko ni mo. Paminaw sa ko, ah. <laughs> Always be humble enough. Learn to listen than to speak more. Kayo say kitay mapakaulawan ana ba na igura ta si Giyawyo nya di ta maminaw. So learn to listen. Okay? Mistakes are opportunities for growth, okay? It is okay to make mistakes. It is okay to fail. Ingna imong katupad, okay lang na Brad. Okay ra tong nabagsak ka. Okay ra tong nalugi ka. Okay ra tong nagkamali ka. Okay ra tong wala ka na dawat sa trabaho, nga man, because those are part of your success journey. It is a journey. Kakita ba kakasada sa Davao City na way construction? <laughs> Marag kadali ko ni Monadjo na construction. There is always something going on. That is why we should learn from our mistakes. It is okay to make mistakes. Okay? The way of success is a continuous pursuit of knowledge. Say pa sabot, Ana. Even though you're studying, even though you're working, you're having your business, you're managing your family, read books. Learn more from other people. Always seek knowledge because you are not the top of everything. There will be always someone lamang sa muha. Put that in your mindset. Someone is always better than me. So, dapat dili ko maghinambok. Kaya ako rin mapakaulawan. Amen? Amen. Okay, what are the practical applications for this? Ako magwali ko, dili ko gusto maghatag lang kong points. Gusto ko maghatag og applications and I want you to write this down. Practical applications for wearing the belt. Number one, what is this? Agunsa siya? 
Class participation! Nagod sa siya! Nagbasa o book! Ikapila d'yo na, every time magwali ko, bukang bibig d'yo na ako ning magbasa o libro. Because maski nakagraduate na ka, you still read. You still learn. Always seek ways to improve yourself. Amen? No matter what the age, read books. Kanang, nag-follow mo ko kanang sa TikTok or sa kanang sa YouTube or sa FB, kanang mga successful people on sa ilang lifestyle. And then makita na ko usually ilang mga blogs is about books. Nga, nag-post sila o book recommendations. Nga, 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 nga. Ay, mo din yung mga lifestyle sa mga successful people. They keep on reading books. Five books a week, ten books a week. Every day they're still learning. Maski sila na ang pinakasikat sa ilang career. Next, on sa paman. Kani, you take online courses. Sabon na karoon, no? karong panahon na, everything is online. So wala tayo palusod na ka ng, ay, kanang, di man ko kabalo as ako makastudy about accounting, di ko kabalo as ako makastudy about medical, di ko kabalo as ako makastudy about business, di ko kabalo makastudy about family management. Ayaw na pang hatag o palusod because there are online courses. All you have to do is type and search and boom, tora na ang online courses. Naghan kayo na sa YouTube. Kana siya is audiobooks. Kinsa'y nakalisan o audiobooks, Diri? Or nakatry? Kanang audiobooks is kanang, for example, delikay ka into reading. So, pas prefer ni mo na maminaw na lang. Maminaw ka sa, book ya po siya, but then ay nagbasa niya, maminaw lang ka. Mo ng audiobooks. So if mag-anak ka, Ate Loy, saan ka po yan, manuag basa, libro, o hindi mo ko feel o basa, o eh. O, wala na saan kay paluso, o, kay nai audiobook, nanay nagbasa para ni mo, ego na ka mamina, o niya, so yun po ng tanang knowledge na yung ipang ingon. Sana man, lahi na dyan kung advance ang world, no? Murag, wala naman tayo paluso, tani? Kani, social media. What is the content of your social media? Pangutanin yung katupad. Bye. Pag open mo si mong TikTok, unsa ang una ni mo nakita? Pangutan na, pangutan na. Unsa ang una ni mo nakita pag open si mong FB? Pag open si mong Instagram? Pag open si mong Twitter? Ako usually, ako na person, sa mata sa mga people na nakaila dyan sa kua, Dili jo ko social media person. I can live for 10 years sa dili mag FB. <laughs> Ingana ako na type of person, but then ako ang social media is all about anything that will keep me motivated. For example, TikTok. Once I open my TikTok about motivational, about women empowerment, about self-confidence, about being ano, about being strong in the midst of the trials, about the word of God. Ingana ang contents akong TikTok. Though it's okay, good ka nang, if you have entertainment, okay lang ko nang lingaw-lingaw, na jokes or whatever, kay drama ba na mga TikTok, mga short clips sa movie recommendations, yung nga na, that is okay. But I encourage you, on your success journey, I could say, if mo, dili na ang laman sa mong TikTok, manglisod ka, o start. Because you get your motivation from what you see. And halos kita, we spend 20 hours on social media. Kinsay agree, Anna. Amen? We spent it on our social media. So, imbis ka na mag-scroll, scroll lang ta dira, na walay pulos, may pa mag-scroll, scroll na lang tawag something that will push us to take the first step. If you want to grow on your business, then follow TikTok about business. If you want to learn how to drive, then search about driving. If you want to learn how to cook, search about cooking. If you want to learn how to be confident, how to speak in front, search it on TikTok. If you say na ay insecure mo ko na pagkatao, ingana, ingana, then search it on TikTok. Search it on your Instagram, on your Twitter. Imbis mag-follow kag mga rants, dera. follow na lang ka something that will push you to take the first step. Amen? Alam, murag na hilo man. Amen? Kita, I just encourage you. Dili ni pang asaba ha. But this is a push. I'm giving you guys a push. 
Wake up! Huma na ang pandemic. It's time to start your life again. Amen? Ingnay, push na yung katupad. Push! <laughs> so good na ba? So good na study. So good na si mong negosyo. So good na trabaho. So good na drive. So good na cook. So good na whatever skill. This is a push for you. And I'm encouraging you to do so. Then, ang pinakalas is mentor. Look for someone who will mentor you. Usually, kani kanang for me, mentor is of course my parents. Sila yun na ako ang top mentors. Next is the pastors, the elders. Then uh, there are also some sa kanang sa social media mga mentors, sikat na mga mentors and speakers. Kasi nagafollow ng Ted Dere. Ted sa YouTube. I don't know if familiar mo, Ana. Oh yes, mga Ted. Tiba dagan sila mga motivational words or sermons. Follow ninyo na. They are mentors. So ipuno na sa inyo hang social media. Amen? Next. On sa tong point number one, you wear a white belt. Next is, grab it! Inay mong katupad, grab it! Marag mali, manina, grab atong pasabot, marag, mine, ay, grab! Grab 250! <laughs> Kinsay, familiar din ka ng online ukay. Steal, mine, grab! <laughs> Lain ni na grab, ha? Dili ni ang grab na ingana. Dili grab na gasto. When I say grab it, grab the opportunity. Dahil nag-ingon sa'y muha, kanang Harley, Pwede ikaw ang magpiano? Uy, it's an opportunity to improve your skills. Grab it. Nikki, pwede kang magka-teach sa children's ministry? I-grab di mo na, Nikki? Grab it. Aaron, <laughs> magwali ka din sa tabangan? Grab it. <laughs> Inga na, grab opportunities. Kinsa yung mga business students here? Business students, ikaway-kaway. Alo, di ko ate, kaya basik tawagon ko ni mo. <laughs> you know, when I say opportunities, business yun ang mo, turok sa ko ang utok. When you have the opportunity to learn business, to learn trade, learn. Grab it. If you have the opportunity to speak, speak. If you have opportunity to share, share. If you have opportunity to cook for other people, Cook. If you have opportunity to drive for other people, drive. Opportunity to help people, you help. Grab opportunities. Usually, kita no ka nang simple, ano, simple opportunity of helping. Nakakita tao ka nang ka nang needy person on the street. Kasi makarilis ako na ka nang sa matagaan ako na preser, dili. Tagaan ako na quarter, dili. Uh, ano man si Lord, matahata ko niya. Hinahinay ko kang lako ba? Matahata ko, dili. Um, rag, ano man. Ako nag-overthink yung ko na tao. Inga na. <laughs> so if you have the opportunity to help, help people. Grab every opportunity. Okay? Di ba? Kasi naka-remember ani sa to ang previous ano, word. Go to your courage zone and grab the opportunity. Like, remember mo ni na picture? See, opportunities are in your courage zone. Like, yung kahalang mo rag, wala makoy skills ani na job. Oy, ba't na ang offer ba? Mo na siguro nag-offer sila sa imuha o job. Basig na kay potential for it. Ba't na makayong ka, oh no, marag dilik mako fit for it. It's an opportunity. Grab it. Take the risk. Unsa man sa studies? Unsa man na kurso akong kuwaon? Kinsa relate ana na problem? Kinsa na going college here? Kinsa going college anya naga question pa ka unsa man ni? Unsa man na kurso akong kuwaon oy? Nya naka kuwa naka kurso? Sure ko sa akong kurso? <laughs> so may ka ugma on ako aning kursuhan ni. If you have opportunities, grab it. Okay? Put God first and He will direct you and crown your efforts with success. Mone siya sa wali ni Pastor Glenn. Ang sa tatong i-prioritize, we put 
God first and He will direct you and crown your efforts with success. Karon mga tana ko, if wala, if wala ka nag-effort, unsa yung i-crown? Para sa imong success. Kaya kung kita ka, He will crown your efforts. Unya kung nagwala, wala ta nag-effort, unsa yung i-crown? Para sa imong success. Wala. So kailangan ta mo effort. That is our effort. Mugo na ta sa atong courage zone. We take the risk. Samot na ako na ka ng ulawon, di man halata, pero ulawon d'yo ko napagkatao. Kung pwede lang, di d'yo ko makikstorya. E nga na ako napagkaulawon. And it took me a very big step to grab a mic and stand in front. Kaya sa una ko magwali ko, makita d'yo ninyo akong tuhod, mangirig. E nga na ako mag, ano sa una, mag-public speaking. But sige lang, I keep on speaking, I kept on speaking. Every time na mag-offers ako, oh, ka ng Lois, pwede ka mag-speak sa Wednesday? Nga ako kay so many. Sige, go, 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 pastora, go, mag-speak ko. Nga, yeah, ka-remember ko, ako ang first wali sa Wednesday kay, nag-unig kong may, mayong gabi, mga igsoon, nga na, nga ako ang niis, ng uro, nga na, nga na ako ka, katalawan sa public speaking. But I never stop. Nga na sa nag-offer, pwede ka mag-speak sa youth. Hello, youth na ni. Hello, okay na, youth na ni. And then he kept on coming, kept on coming. Sige lang ko dawat opportunity to speak, opportunity to speak, opportunity to speak. And then nag-invite sa ko sa school. Kanang ano, uh, Lois, kanang pwede ka mag-advocate for disabled people sa ing ani na lugar. Sige, go. Wa man ko experience about disabled people, but then sige, go. Mag-study ko ana. Gi-grab na akong opportunity. Pwede ka mag-share about yung ani on a Sunday? Yes! Grab every opportunity because there is where you will grow. Don't play it safe, guys. Amen? Never play it safe because kung mag-play tao safe, we will never grow. Grab that job opportunity. Grab that business proposal. Grab that investment. Grab it. Grab that skill. Kasi, lain na grab na, no? Grab that weapon. Ano sa ba mga online games na ron? Lain na na grab, okay? Kasi usually kita, we tend to be over-spiritual. Kasi, pasabot na natin, Lois. Kanang, si Lord na ang bahala. Kasi, ano-ano, okay man ang si Lord na ang bahala. But then, kanang, wala lang kita nag-effort. Kanang, ay, kapoy mag-study. Lord, ikaw na bahala. Yeah, Jesus is the answer ang gitubag. Dili in tao na ingana, guys. No. <laughs> you do your part and God will do his part. Amen. Ay, testify lang jud ako ni kay wala man jud ako ni na testify. Ah, uh, preparing for the board exam. Sige lang jud ko ingon, Lord, ikaw na bahala. <laughs> but then, kanang pasalama jud ko kay Lord sa kanang mental state na lahira jud ka na mag-study ka online no lisod kayo mag-motivate yourself to study online. Kay lami ra kay matulog sa balay. But then amazing jud kay si Lord because nag-reveal siya jud sa ko na sige lang just do your part and I will do my part. Mura jud na gina-impress ni Lord sa ko kada adlaw. And then a week before my board exam nagka-fever ko. So, okay, imagine mo sa kakulba na ko, ano, five days sa ko ang review unta, final reviews na kuha sa fever. And then by that time, nisulod ko sa, sa board exam, muragi kang gani ka recovery, kakafeel mo sa akong na-feel, na kanang gikan pala ka recovery sa fever, nyo murag dili ka sure kung kakaya pa ba ka sa adlaw, kay kapoy pa dyan kayo ka, lamit lang matulog. But then, nag lang si Lord na kanang, sige lang, give your best effort. Nagpasalamat ko sa mga tao sa na nag-encourage ako, ano, samot na ka ng, sa akong family, kay mo, mga taga-church, and of course, akong relatives abroad, nag-ana dyan sila, nag sila sa kua, na sige lang, itry lang gutik. What if they makapasa ka? Wala may mawala sa imo kung mabagsak ka, retake lang good. Nga dito ko nakarealize, tama, no? If it's an opportunity now, dili ka mamatay, grab it. Tanaw ni mo, mamatay ba ko? Ano kung padayuno na ako? Dili man siguro? Go na iksuon. Amen? Amen. There is no such thing as failure to a person who never gives up. 
only delayed success. Amen? If nabagsak ka ni na exam, retake. Nalugi ka ni na business, learn from it and then go and move on. Napasakitan ka ng tawhana na, move on. There is more to life than relationships. Amen? Amen. Okay, next. Reach mo na yan. Okay, maragpuros yun ta mga action, no? Wear, grab, reach. Reach mo na yan. Okay, so this, uh, my point here is create your goals. Reach for your goals. Amen? Ingnay mong katupad. Reach for your goals by sis. Onya na ay goal na yung mong katupad. Masig, wala siya yung goal. Ang sa itawag sa mga taong way goals? Kuang goal. <laughs> okay, dili pa sabot na naway ito sa mga taong way goals, ha? But then this is just another push, okay? Okay, what are goals? Uh, Ngani ang description sa goals? The person you are right now should not be able to achieve it. Amen? O man ang goal, abdun pa man ni mo. You will have to grow into someone else entirely by pushing yourself in a positive way to make sure it is achieved. That is a goal. Ang goal is dili lang something na dali ra nimo ma-achieve na kanang ay kaya ligi na ko na oy ma-achieve na ligi na ko na makuha ra na ko na. Ang goal is something difficult ni sud siya. Nya kailangan pa ka mag-improve, kailangan pa ka mag-grow into someone else before nimo na ma-reach na goal. Okay? Kasi yung familiar, there is a smart format na goals. Sa mo ang practice, occupational therapy, we are all about goals. The word goals is in my vocabulary every day. Kung makikatubang ko o client. Okay? So, goals should be, ang sa dapat ang goals? Smart. S is? Specific. M is? Measurable. A is? Attainable. R is? Relevant. T is time-bound. Okay, what is the difference between goals and dreams? Di ba mo na gina-interchange lang na ito? Unsay kalian sa goal o sa dream? Goals are time-bound. Dreams are not. Goals is something you have to achieve within this time. Ang dreams ay kutub... Ay, unta, magkabalay ko og dako. Unta, maminyo anak ko si Liminho. Unta, mga nga na mga unta-unta na ka nang... Unta, mga itinod, anay da ba ni? Unta, magkaroon ko Ferrari na sakyanan. Unta, inganay, unta-unta lang kutob. So set a deadline. Goals are time bound because without deadlines, there are wishes. Next, kani practical applications. Kinsa dary familiar sa goal board? Ay dream board. Ay sorry, dream board, dream board. Okay, so sa pepsol sa una nagtalk about tao dream board, but then I tend to call it goal board. Kaya nato it times ako ang board exam kanang. Sa mo ang board exam ang good kay Kanang. Hala, nag-ingon na sila. O sige, by, by June uh, 2020, naan ay board exam. Hala kami, hala. Kanang motivated pa kami mag-review, mag-study. Nga kalit na nag-ingon. Ay, nga, sa, na, summer na four months na may nag-review, three months. Ay, sorry, na-move the eye. Sa December 2020 na day ay ang board exam. Sorry. Ah, hala, kay sige, go. Padayon lang ta. Enroll na sa upang review para dili mawala ang knowledge daw. Anya na, anak na sad. Ay, sorry. Naisbook na sad. Og next year ang board exam niya. Ka-feel ka mo sa kuna. Feel ka na. Unsa man. Another gasto na sad. Ni, brag. That kind of, ano, marag. Maka-burn out siya ba? Makawala siya motivation. And I was at the point na kanang, sa man, Lord, mag-OT pa ko? Padayunon pa na ako ni akong kurso? Yung marag, akong gibuhat kay Doon nag-review pa sila ako. Kay nanay ako sa balay. Nag-scroll-scroll na lang ko sa TikTok. Nag-ano na lang ko YouTube. Nag-tanaw na lang ko Netflix. Gihurot na ako ang mga k-drama dito. Marag, nawala na dito kong motivation sa kuang life. Ayun, sa may pulos kong pag-study. Ay, sige na mag-isbook ang board exam. 
nga na, na himo na nga na ako ang mindset and then nag-ana si Lord na kana murag mura, gipamata ko ni Lord ba naka nang huy na unsa naman ka ya nag-reveal siya sa ko ang make a goal board ya mo ni ako ang gibuhat sila nag-review ako nagbuhat ko gingani <laughs> Ano nga, craft team ako na person. Gusto ko, I want to make something from my hands. Nga na. So, sample lang niya sa ko ang gold board and you can make something na diliing ana, but this is just a sample. So, unsa muna yung format sa ko ang gold board. Basaw na lang na ako for that side, ha? Ang first is, ang ibutan niyo mo sa gold board kay things I want to learn. For example, dara, ang akong ibutang, uh, makalearn ko og drive by 2021. Dili siya mabasa, but then, nakabutang na siya diha. Muna, gibutang na ako, uh, babae sa nag-drive, niya, picture sa driver's license, sa butanganan, gibutang na ako diha. O niya, things I want to achieve. Makapasa ko sa board exam by 2022. Gibutangan yun, yun ako siya deadline. I will take the board exam at 2022 and pass. Things I want to have. Uh, kato, para dera ang lisensya. Niya, Ah, uh, atra. Places I want to go to. Ana na nakigipambutang dere na mga places, Baguio, Japan, mga sa pay kalaga na kung gibutang diha, basta kalaga. Di mo ko kalaga na tao. So, ginabutang lang ako dere kung saan tanaw na ako makita. Ana hopefully makapassport para makalaag na abroad, di ba? It is a new goal. Tara, ang last is person who I want to be. Nagibutang na ko dira ka na professional na occupational therapist. Hopefully, magkaroon o ka ng opportunity maka-work sa government, maka-help o ka ng PWDs through the government. Tingnan na. Or, I want to become an investor. I want to become someone like this and like that. So, you can put all sorts of those goals in your goal board. Ngano kailangan man na, Ate Lois? Uh, I'm not pushing you to do this, ha? But then, People tend to be visual. We are visual creatures sa pagbuhat sa ginoo. And when we see something, mo na makapush sa toa. The eyes are the windows of the soul. Kung unsa ang makita sa imong eyes, mo na ang nag-feed sa imong soul. If ang imong gina-feed sa imong soul, kay imong goals, hala, mo na makapush sa imong ha to achieve your goals. Promise mo, Juni, ang naka-help sa kung mental state sa board exam, ka na ang kakulba sa mag-take of board exam, it is very, uh, sorry na lang sa term, ka nang makabuang gani siya, like, the anxiety, the worry, nag-mix, ang excitement, marag, ah, marag, wala, kung di na kunin mo pa sa kay, ah, ah, promise, exon, yung nga na na kind of anxiety, ako ang na-feel. Nalang ko sa kwarto, but then na-eight times, nag-hyperventilate ko, na-eight times na, dili ko makatulog, Three hours na akong tulog, two hours, kay out of the kulba. One month pa gani ang board exam, pero halos one ako'y tulog. Mula siguro nagka-fever ko. And then my goals became my motivation. Sige lang, magkuha na ako ng lisensyahan na bantay lang kang lisensyaha ka. Kuha on juta ka. And then glory to God, nakapasa ko. As in glory to God, it is a miracle pass. Here in Davao City, 39 may nag-take, upat na may nakapasa. So I could say it is a miracle pass. It is a miracle pass from the Lord. Okay? So yung na yung katupad. Day bye. Tinabang ay tagbuhat o gold board. Hindi mo kailangan something fancy, no? Pwede man ka nang i-print ni mo sa paper, i-laminate, and then i-butang. And then something realistic. Okay? So let us put something realistic. For example, sa kua, Kung makakita mo dira, wala pa yung picture sa nagminyo, diha. <laughs> Ako, wala pa picture sa nagminyo, dira. Kay, in my goal today, wala pa ko yung plano magminyo. Yan, so something realistic for you. Mura akong goal pa lang is mas stable sa kung ang job, mas stable sa kung finances. Mo pa lang na ako ang goal for this years. Later na lang kung magbuta o kaminyo, dira, or balay, diha. O niya na lang na. So, something realistic or fit for your current situation. Kung studyante ka, ibutang ni mo na nag-graduate ka, nag, or nagbutang ka picture na na-diploma ka, nagbutang ka picture na CPA na, or engineer, doctor, sa so, pa mga courses ka ron, a businessman, policeman, sa so, pa mga lain kurso. 
Ah, uh, sa unsa unsa na sa HRM? Unsa ba ang tawag ana sa HRM? Kung kinsa familiar. Chef, o kana, chef, ibutang dera. If naga-work na ka, o te magbutang ka something dera about promotion. If na kay business, butang ka dera or unsa man na business? Ah, uh, naba kay own tindahan nimo, naba kay own restaurant, na naba kay something like that, like that. Ibutang something realistic for you. Amen. Amen. Okay, next. Kani, have goal friends. Because life is not about living alone. Imong kani imong katupad ron, goal friend imo na. Dili. <laughs> Dili. <laughs> Friendship goes on poros gasto. <laughs> cafe here, cafe there, cafe everywhere. Okay, so have goal friends. Okay? Seek the company of people who influence you to think and act on building the life you desire. Do not close your circle. If you learn from these people, learn from these people. Have goal friends. Kana sa karon na one of my goals is magkaroon og online business. So mo to nakipag work ko sa ubang churchmates diri. You know who you are. Kana na kana makastart sa online business anam anaman but then we are trying to start. Kung gusto ba nimo ah, gusto ko kana mas sexy ko, gusto nako mo macho ko. O di pangita ka girlfriends nimo. Unsa man bay? Sa naman ni bay. Sa man ata ni. Patunawan pa nato ni or padakuan pa nato ni. <laughs> so nga na, find a girlfriend. Dali bay, exercise ta. Or karon magbike na. Daghan na, uso na kayo mga bikers ro, no? Dali, bike ta. Every ingani, ingani. Or you need a study buddy. Na makamotivate sa'yo mag-study. Lahim man ang study group, no? Kay, ano? Kay, imisun ta mag-study. Wala na nag-study. <laughs> okay, next. Tara, manage your three Fs. What is three Fs? Ano saan three Fs na inyo nakita? It's family or friends, finances, and fun. Actually, seven na, but then tulo lang. Kaya basing mahurot na itong oras, no? Okay? So, manage your family or friends, finances, and fun. Iingon dyan ako ni maging practical ko. One of the things... To start your success journey is you need to manage your finances. Okay? I will be practical about it. Unsa man na na tiloy sa kanang money is the root of all evil, be? Actually, money is not the root of all evil. The love of money is the root of all evil. Manage your finances. Dili lang ta si gasto dapat si gasto no. Invest, save and invest your money. Put it in somewhere na mag-grow imong kwarta. Mag-grow ang imong efforts. It's okay to have fun. But manage your fun. Dili lang ta sige gasto, sige cafe. Ako pala cafe kay ko na tao sa una. I don't know lang if kana na naga scroll diri but then natoy ka sana nag scroll siya, nag scroll ko niya naghambog siya sa iyang TikTok na kanang by the age of 26 na na siya mansion na na siya sakyanan niya sara daw ang naghago niya gihatag niya iyang tips unsa gi unsa to niya pag-achieve number 1 nag-invest siya og kwarta number 2 nag-create siya business number 3 nag-instant coffee siya every day Wala siya nagka-cafe. Nga naman kay mahal kayo ang cafe. Dako kayo nagkuha sa kwarta. As a student, dili pa ko ka-feel sa burden sa pag-earn ng kwarta. Murag sa tua, ay, tag-198 naman ang, ah, uh, sa mga size ka ni Karun. Ah, tag-198 naman ang ano, oy, ka ng regular size na, ambot ako mo, 98 bar, 200 plus. Di ko sure na, ang sana. Ka ng fra, frappuccino or something, americano, macchiato, tea latte. Na siya ko sa green, sa green coffee, kay, kada adlaw, madyo ko nag-green tea. Nangotan ako, tagpilan yung green tea. Tag-170, ma'am. Ha? Huh? 
Ini tupi grama na ukti. Ngano ang sebenti mani? Palit na lang kog one box niya magpainit kog tubig. Ngano mani na one sebenti? Okay, so manage your fun. It's okay to go and have cafes every now and then, but then ayaw it daily. Sabot na ka na sa palayra tano ay magpagrab lang. Foot panda here, foot panda there. Na may open din kung dili man food and tripping, shopping, online shopping here and there. So manage your fun, guys. It is okay to reward yourself. It is okay. But then, kana lang, just manage it. Then family or friends. Have friends that will help you in your goals. Have friends who will understand your struggles. Na dili ka ma-pressure na dapat magpakitang tao ko permi ani nila. Dapat magpakitang dato ko ani nila. They should be the friends who will understand your struggles. And for family, manage your family. For example, if you are a parent, teach your child what is life and adulting 101. Kay mo nang something na diligin na tudlo sa school. So it is your job as parents to teach it to your children. Manage your family, manage your friends, manage your finances, and manage your fun. And I will leave you with this. Next. Okay, the parable of the talents. Kabalo mo ang one talent is worth 200,000 pesos to 1 billion dollars ang one talent. Can say familiar ani na story? Di ba na yung sa kadato na negosyante, o niya gibili niya sa yung servants, ang usa one talent, ang usa two talents, ang usa five talents. According to each ability. Okay? O niya, ang usa ka talent is worth 200,000 to 100 billion dollars. Next. And then ang usa na nakadawat sa one talent, nahadlog siya na malugi. Mahadlog siya na mawala ang kwarta na gihatag sa yung boss. So yung gibuhat kay gitago niya. Whereas kato nakadawat og two talents og five talents, kay gisave and invest nila mo na napadaghan. Ang five talents na himong ten, two talents na himong four. But then katong usa gitago ra man niya ang talent, so wala ni tubo. Nya nag-ana ang boss sa iya ha. Pagkatamad ba ni mo na servant? Oy, wala na lang dyan ni mo gibutang sa bangko para ni nakadawat pa ang takog return of investment, Ana? So, how does it relate to us? Bias ba si Lord? Ay, unfair mong good at Eloise kay one talent ng good na iya ha. So, na siya right magtago-tago. Next. Actually, we are that one person and I one talent. God has given us all the things that we need. God has given you the opportunity to study. God has given you the opportunity to work. God has given you the opportunity to start a business. God has surrounded you with people that will support you. But then, nahimo tang katong one talent na guy. Ay, mahadlok man ko, oy. I'm just too insecure. I'm just too afraid. I'm just too tired. I'm so depressed. Wala koy goal. Wala koy skill. Wala koy talent. Burn out ra ka ayo ko. Can I can I achieve my goals? Can I be someone better? Pwede ba ko someone na successful? Ayaw i-rate imong self based on your current status in life. Makaingon man ka, dili mang may inga na kadato at Eloys. Dili mang ko inga na ka-smart. Dili mang ko inga na ka-talented. Marag dili naman siya ko ma-successful, Ani. I don't think so. God has given you life. God has given you a good health. A great body. To earn money, to work hard, so that you can have a potential to be successful in the future. In times when you're afraid, in times when you're tired, have friends that will uplift you. Spend time with God. 
Amen? So while listening to this word, nabatay mga dreams dara na kanang or goals dara na kanang motivated kay ta na makuha na but then na discourage na ta makabayad ba og utang makapalit pa og something maka open ba og business magkaroon ba og good health magkaroon og ingani na job nya murag sa tanaw ni mo murag i'm not fit for it gikapoy na kog achieve gikapoy na kog effort Kapoy na kaya akong kinabuhi. Mag-effort pa ko para ani, Lord. And I'm telling you today, God is a way maker. He is a promise keeper. A light in the darkness. If you think your life is in darkness right now, we have the Lord with us. Amen? Can we just stand up? As we sing this song, have your goals in mind. Before we sing this song, have your goals in mind. Have the goal na yung give up pa na. If you have a goal for your family na mawala sa kautangan, put it in your mind right now. If you have a goal in your mind na mawala dyan na, we will go from poverty to riches, the kind of goal, keep it in your mind. If you have in your mind na makapasa ko ani, put it in your mind. Whatever goal that you have na nag-give up na ni mo, put it in your mind. And let us do this prophetic gesture. Namurag, gikuha na to, and then we just do a fist. Mag-fist lang tayo, and we just leave it to God. Lord, this is it. This is my goal. This is my dream, Lord. I want to be this. I want to do this. One day, Lord, makuha na ako ni. One day, Lord, maingani na ako ang pamilya. One day, Lord, maingani na ako ang health. One day, Lord, ingani na ang state sa mong finances. One day, Lord, ma-achieve na ako ni sa kong studies. One day, Lord, ma-promote ko. One day, Lord, makuha na ako ni na trabaho. One day, Lord. God is here in our midst today. And this is just gonna be between you and God as you sing this song.
dream natong isukuha na this is opportunity to push it back in our lives let us lift up our hands in a closed fist lord this is it this is it lord ma-achieve na nako na lord makuha na nako na by this year lord makuha na nako na by next year lord He is a way maker, a promise keeper. And God promises, if you just do your efforts, He will crown your success. He will crown your efforts with success. Yes, Lord God, Lord, we pray for every dream, every passion, oh God, every goal, every hope, God. We just claim it, Lord. Achieve na mo na, makuha na mo na by this year, oh God. Lord, I pray that you would enable every faith, Lord. Enable every faith, Lord God. I pray, oh God, we will never stop pursuing. We will never stop pursuing. Grant us perseverance na ma-achieve among goals, Lord. Grant us perseverance na ma-achieve in times na ma-down me, in times na ma-discourage me. Oh God, grant us the perseverance to keep going on, to keep pushing through para sa mong pamilya, para sa mong future, para sa mong finances, para sa mong studies, Lord. This is for me. This is for my family, Lord. I will reach it one day. I will have it one day, God. Just give me the strength to reach it. Crown my efforts with success, God. You see the efforts of these people, Lord. You see the hope in their hearts, God. You see all their hard work. You see all their dreams, Lord. The hope that they have for their families. The, the hope they have for their future. You see them, Lord. You see them. Help them to take the first step in their success journey. We just claim, Lord, the success. We just claim the success. We just claim, oh God, that we will reap all the hard work na among gipupo sa among studies, among gipupo sa among trabaho, among gipupo sa among relationships, among gipupo sa among business. Among gipupo para sa kong pamilya, it will grow, it will grow, and one day, I will achieve it, God. We will achieve it, Lord. Nothing is impossible for you. There is nothing greater in the power of the Lord. Amen? Can you say with me, I can? I can! Ishakit, I can! I will! I can do it! And God is, is going to help me! Tapangan ko sa ginoo! Because God is with me! I will achieve it! We thank you, Lord God, for every life, oh God. We praise you and we give you all the glory. Every dream comes from you. Ikaw na butang sa mong kasing-kasing. And Lord, I know that you would help us achieve it, oh God. We thank you for everything. We thank you for your word for today. And I pray that we will all enjoy our presence, Lord God, as we will continue in fellowship, Lord. All these things we give you praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Atong palakpakan ang Ginoo Exon. Hallelujah Lord. Okay, so 
uh, we got the message today and I believe na God has put that anang uh, desire sa tong heart we all have dreams we all have desires and God honors the dreams of a godly person Amen so ang point lang of everything is just trust God knowing and believing that God knows what is best for you But there's, there's just one verse na ako lang pong i-point out it's soon. It's found in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9. And the Word of God says in verse 9 of Proverbs 16, yung unang Word of God na in His heart, sa iyang kasing-kasing, a man, a woman for that purpose, plans his course, but the Lord determines His steps. Your dreams is good. God will... Give it to us, it's so on. Ingon pa si Lois, as long as you believe in God. But nevertheless, the bottom line is this, God will have the final say. Because God knows what's best for you and me. Because God says in John, Jeremiah 29 verse 11, that He has the best plans for our lives. So again, reach out for your dreams. Reach out for your goals. If that is what is God has God has put in your heart, so it's from God. No doubt about it, it's from God. Just put your trust in God. Knowing and believing that He still and will always have the best plans for your life. Amen? Hallelujah. Salamat sa word. Salamat, Lois. Sana all murag si Lois. Amen? Na dahil courage na mag-sulti dere. Time will come, so on. You will also have your time here. Uh, before we go, na lang announcement ikso on sa August 29 man birth na no? August 29 uh, na atay G12 Regional Conference sa SMX sa Lanang. Okay, it is a regional conference ikso on sa mga wala pa nakaten sa tanang G12 churches, but diri lang sa Southern Mindanao region. And we have speakers uh, appeal si Bishop Oriel. So. Uh, 20 tickets lang ang ato ang napareserve sa atong church. 20 tickets. It it cost around 300 per ticket. Amen? So, sa gusto mag-appeal sa regional conference, dulo lang si Jobert. Kasi si Jobert ang, mag, ang maglista. Amen? So, ato lang tanawin. No, asa ko ito bang 20. But kung sobra ta sa 20 soon, glory to God, we can ask help sa ilaha Pastor Hurley, ilaha Pastor Rapi Lagat, sa tanang mga G12 big soon, don't worry. Kung sobra man ta sa 20, all glory to God, ma-accommodate lagi na tanan. Amen? Ang, desi- ang, 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 ang importante lang is you have that desire and then, uh, dula lang si Jobert Unia, uh, he will have the list. We, we will finalize mga good ni by Sunday. Kaya nga no, karong sunod Sunday, kay next Sunday man ang bayad sa ito ang uh, registration fee. Okay? So, uh, dula lang si Jobert Ixon na uh, nasa ang listahan sa mga nagpalista na o sa gusto pa magpalista. Amen. Hallelujah. So again, everyone is invited karong Wednesday. Okay, let's pray together. Dagan ni Paampo ang Ginoo Ixon. Mula nog sa dili. As God will provide, we will, we will, we will go. Yun palagi, as long as I can walk, I will preach. As long as I can breathe, I will pray. Amen. So manindog na mga Ixon. Let's pray. Let's close this in prayer. Na bless you sa word. I hope you took notes. Yeah, play na tasa tong pinabuhi. So on. It's the best thing that we have heard today. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Father in heaven, Lord, salamat sa word, O God. Salamat for reminding us, O Lord, that the goals and dreams we have, Lord, in our hearts, O God, actually comes from you, Lord. And we are forever grateful, O God, that in your perfect time, Lord, Imujo na siyang pagkabuhaton, ihatag sa mua, Lord. Knowing and believing, O God, that you still have and will always have, Lord, the best plans for our lives. And Father God, sa tanan mong ma-achieve, Lord, sa tanan mong ma-reach na goals, O loving God, ang tanan dumug, himaya, ibalik na mo kanimo, kanimo lamang, Lord. Kay ikaw lamang ang takos, Lord, o worthy, O God, to receive all of these things, Lord. Lord, dismiss us now with your love. Bauno na mo ang gugma, Bauno na mo ang kadaugan, Lord, sa umaabot na si Mana, O God. Make us a blessing to all the people that we meet, Lord. Make us excited, Lord, sa mga pagbuhat ni mo sa umaabot ng mga adlaw, Lord, na kami mismo, Lord, ang maka-experience o miracles, O God. Kami mismo, Lord, ang mahimong blessing sa ubang tao, Lord. 
Dili kami ang mga ayo, kundi kami ang muhata, gulabing God. And all of these things, Lord, will be for your glory and for your honor, O God. Salamat sa provision, salamat sa protection, salamat sa kayuhan, Lord. Salamat sa kaalam, O God. Salamat for everything, Lord. And most of all, O God, salamat, Lord, for your love, for saving us on the cross, O God. We give you back the glory, Lord. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace, both now and forevermore. And the people of God will say, Amen and Amen. Good morning. Happy Sunday to all.